Greetings, traveler. Beast Ellie Murloc, Kobor Undead. Kale for a quest or Snake Eyes for a hero power? Generally speaking, I really, really don't hate having the bit more armor. Snake Eyes can work out, but... Actually, my two Snake Eyes games have been first, so she absolutely can work out. But you do have that smaller margin for error. Sally is nice for my hero power. Let's see what happens here. I don't want to waste the buff. They've already hero power. Okay. Armor leads to top four is guaranteed. Yeah, I wish it worked that way. <laughs> What's Chief Curve? Level on turn 3 instead of 3. Level on turn 3 instead of 2. Let's first see who I'm fighting here. Beast 1. Yeah, if they just level, that's a Mana Saber. That's too much damage. So I'm kind of down for the lasso play here. I'll take 4 damage for leveling, so I think this is uh, probably fine. Especially because I have a, like, I had a pretty decent turn there. Also makes more sense if I'm not Kale, like guaranteed more sense, right? Because normally you, you argue here, oh, if you go Selly and sell it, you'll have droplets. But if you lasso, you might get it for free or might get a better unit. But it's a pair. And I'm getting plus four, plus I'm getting plus two, plus two. So I think I just do this, and I don't care about lasso. I'm gonna add and play it because I might get cards to the hand quest, and then it's kind of good to be able to sell this. Two kale procs by turn three must be elementals. for that so. fifteen attacks for tampering is exactly why we take kale that's a really good deal we're gonna have gems for the tough tusk after selling this next turn yeah it's probably still worth going hummingbird I don't see this working. Need to get enough attacks, so we don't want to be too strong. I don't want to take damage either, though. No. Yeah, cast twice is really good for me to us. Okay, four attacks I'm pretty happy with. They took seven from Galakrond. It's kind of interesting. That hummingbird mana saber combo was exceptionally good here for them. Brutal. Yeah, they stayed on tier two for that. Take taunt and level. No, I mean, it's, it, most of the time people are obsessed with taunt. I, I notice. Well, not not most of the time, but that's a suggestion I see very often. Where chat is uh, oftentimes very willing to spend a lot of gold taunting because they would hate the hummingbird getting sniped. And it's like, yeah, I get that that's annoying, but if you if you spend money to taunt it then you are by definition losing some resources because you invested resources to taunt it, right? So it's, yeah. So this could have worked, but double cast on it is pretty sweet. Lubber's really good. I think it's just lubber and roll up scout first. 
Happy to go for a five, just let's set up a bit. Fungus is gonna be good. I guess I'm okay buffing this. This is extra money, this is extra money, but I trade this for this for sure. I, I could also cast the chef, but two elementals next turn seems better. If we had Azerite again, we can um, just do that with Lubber on the board already and then tampering. We're going to have Fungus to carry us for a little bit. Almost. Damn. That would have been sweet. Hold these spells. Check for Azerite first. Mm, just take a six is not bad either. Guess I'll play this for the buff, but I doubt it's gonna matter. Nala, Nala's good. Pirate, Ellie, something, Beast, Quillbore, sell this. I guess I roll past these. Right? They're not terrible. But better to get some value. That's a really good beast to have. That's a Naga as well. Hey, I said no refund. The light has left this place. Alright, I get extra gold. Forgot. Probably just cast the spell and call it a day. Trainee is uh, free. Not Rock Rock. Well, I have Temporal Tampering, so that just seems to make sense to go Nala. Also, I had a pretty good type spread. Alright, my overconfidence money isn't going to pay off, but I think you just have to try, because you get so much if you do... Uh, you get six, right? It was probably even possible, uh, but not really. Nala gives only one buff with the quest reward. Yeah, 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 the quest casts the spell, right? You don't cast it twice. So look for Lubber, Reborn. We'll see for the rest. Panda's really good. This is really good. Oh, that one's on my naughty list. Double Golden Touch is also pretty sweet. But two six drop spells for Mutinous. It's a bit early for Mutinous, though. Let me um, play this first, see what I get. Oh, okay. Nice. That's not a bad guy to buff. Okay. The light has left this place. Mm, I think I'm out of the other one. Another golden touch is not bad. I don't think I want to freeze for it. Taunt Sparbat is probably good. Did you consider ritual before touch? Um, yeah, yeah, but it's something came up. It's it's correct to do it, I think, though. But something came up why I didn't do it. I can't remember. Okay, church is good. Oh wow, what a shop. The light has left this place. Oh, 
Oh. Sure, I'll do that then. And shield to cleave to you. Well, no, 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 no. That was questionable. Still kind of happy to freeze that. It made more sense on the money, but it's better to upgrade the cleave. This made little sense what I did, but it's okay. We'll we'll get there. But I should have done it the other way around. Because the cleave gets an upgraded effect when it's uh, golden and the lubber. Whether I have two lubbers on the board or one, it's it's actually even a yeah. But it's fine. It's fine. Eh, no, golden lubber's fine. This is fine. This is fine. I don't need the power. I don't need the power right now. These are both really good. I do like the ability to triple this cleave, so I'm gonna buy it, but then... I'm not evolving this then, right? Saloon's finest is good. I'm gonna level, or I would have leveled if I hadn't hit that. We need something to mutinous later. Pirates are out, I can't buff that. I guess we start with fungus. So the goal is to find uh, evolve spells now, and then use Saloon to get a shop full of spells, and then upgrade those spells to get Mutinous. But I think we're gonna be on six soon then, because I I think I want to just be able to roll Mutinous as well. Ooh, nice. Yeah, I think I probably just go to six and cast Saloon and see if I get Mutinous offered off the get go. Hey Dan, thanks so much for the Prime. Oh, I'm glad you watch your YouTube, man. Welcome to the live stream. Good to have you. Proc Hero Power twice, or Proc Battle Cry twice. Probably not the Murky, probably Money, probably a Panda. This person is close, they need Goldrin. They need the Guldrin. Yo, Jetted 103, my man. Let's go. Welcome back, buddy. I should have just uh, gone Saloon here, right? But it's fine. Now I got two. I have two, so. But I, I think this is too good not to. This is very good, and then Overconfidence is still very good. Although he's kind of winning hard, right? So let's just buy the Saloon and upgrade. Well, no, that's a 5. A 5 can't hit. I should have sold this. I can't die this turn. Okay, let's, let's try to be clever about this. Are we supposed to cast these Saloons right now, or are we supposed to go for Evolve? I guess we are casting at least one right now. We can die. Now we're on 27. I'll cast a Vigor and Hope, I guess. It's a bit hopeful casting those overconfidences, but at least it's a one-cost spell, so it's just a lot of stats. Okay. Aww. Aww! Alright. Well, we were doing okay, and then those hits happened, and then we weren't okay. <laughs> hey. Damn, dude. Brutal hit. That always feels so awkward when the, the, the minion is like, I'll remove your shield, and then you'll just suicide in the poison, and haha, you lose. Nice. Isn't that fun? <laughs> Try to get an evolve. 
Just evolve and roll. Yeah, I, just, I didn't even see this. I don't know if Brand's busting, right? That Brand might be worth it with this board. Probably is. Yeah. Fuck me, dude. I am not doing a good job here. I thought I cast Evolve, but I cast Saloon instead. Which one are you looking for? Mutinous, Mutinous. It's fine, it's fine, it's fine. Shit happens. That was a confusing round. Alright, let's see if we can find um, the Poison Murloc to hold. We have two Evolve, so it's still good, but... I, this has happened so many times when I played t with this quest reward, where I just feel like I should hit at least one Mutinous, and it's just all the other six drop spells. You survived, and I have no idea. I'm gonna have to just go right in. I have two Evolves right now. Insane. All right, we found one. Jesus. What am I eating? Spore bats, probably. Let me uh, just buff with Murky and eat this guy. Right? Oh, I didn't do this. I'm actually just gonna chill here, because if I die, I die. I just don't think I can meaningfully use the Mutinous right now. Oh, he's on tier 3. We're fine, we're fine, we're fine. <laughs> We should not eat the base kill. Golden base kill is too good. Even though I have the murky buffs, I, I thought like, oh, I'm just gonna like go with, um, I'm gonna go get murky and then make a huge base kill and eat it. It's not worth it, especially when this is what I'm up against, right? I I, I need to keep the base kill. So I have one fluidity. I no longer have brand's blessing. I've got this thing I didn't use. Alright, good amount of money. Murloc player, very good, very good. It's not bad for the initial boost, I guess. Are we eating Lubber then? Or? No, we're eating the, this guy right now. Still alive right now. That's good to fill my boards. And then we eat this next turn, because I think right now it's too risky. I can just hold another Revolve, run these two, and assume I never take 12 here. We're going to have more size than them. Yeah. I am one with the 
We don't need base kill. No, 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 no. I was thinking about it, but it makes no sense. Base kill is like a golden divine shield base kill. It's like what what other unit could you possibly want for the end game where your opponent has some poison? Like it makes no sense to eat that. It's too good at blocking bullshit. It's way too good. All right, so now I look for stuff to buff, Murlocs to hold, and then potentially spell shenanigans here. It's pretty cheap to death rattles. That's fantastic. All right, now we have this on lockdown. This is an insane, a good pull now. This guy dies, right? And then it's the Murloc guy. So I have to fight a Murloc guy next turn. I just have to roll for another one of these and then it's sort of dumb. Do That's also good. That's also good. I actually don't hate getting rid of this, right? So double Bramble Witch to fill my board. I guess I have Taunt for a Nala or I can ditch Nala. Another Grim Scale is a sick hit. Matador is also very good. I'm actually gonna grab the Fortify as well so I have another Taunt in case I hit the good stuff. Fluidity doesn't really matter on this board. Suit up, minion. It's go time. I was gonna go play this, swap it and shield it, but it doesn't really work with that setup. Yeah, we're, we're really closing in on just having this grip over him where you can't get out. Because two Divine Shields taunted Grim Scales in your hand is so silly. I'm actually taunt already, right? I could probably just sell the Nala and not care about the small extra buffs. This is the good one. Seven in this. Alright, these can go now. It's okay. Actually, down a minion now, right? But I can run base kill. Yeah, base kill makes sense. Yeah, big cleave in the endgame is so good. Alright, GG.
Yeah, it was just this slow, inevitable march to where it's just having too many things to deal with. Nice. Alright, so as we said, not really the best lobby for tampering, and we only play two mutinous, even though we hunted like crazy for them. But still big enough.